Hello again guys, welcome back to Hammer and Anvil Gaming. This is my Total War Free Kingdoms Lubu Legendary Campaign. And no, you're not dreaming, you're actually seeing the court panel. Yep, we managed to make it in without the game crashing. And look, I've come in and gone back in again multiple times without the game crashing. Um, so this is a great day, it means we can actually do some stuff. And uh, the first thing I sort of want to do... Um, is so we now have a great opportunity here where we can vassal up we can annex Liu Bei and release from service all of his basically all of his court members that we want on our hit list for the greatest warriors achievement so we've got a lot to do here so apologies this episode might be light on sort of battles and stuff we're going to be more moving stuff around uh, Zhang Liao uh, isn't doing us much here. So, and he doesn't get on with too many people. He doesn't get on with Lu Bu for one thing, which is a bit of a problem. So we're going to remove him from office. Which will probably piss him off, let's face it. God, where is he? Did we go past him? Probably did. Yeah, he's still pretty hot. He and next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Lu Jiping, our heir, and move her to become. Uh, ooh, actually, hey, why are you here again? Oh yeah, this guy's great. Yeah, uh, let's make him Grand Commandant. And we're going to make Lu Jiping. We're going to take her away from being heir. She's still at 100, even though she's just been disinherited. And we're going to make Lu Ji. We're going to bring her back to be our faction heir. Um, mainly because uh, she is a really good warrior. And for the greatest warrior achievement, we need her, our faction leader to beat them. Um, so who better to do that than Lu Ji? Uh, and the only person she doesn't like is Jing Zhang, who's also on 100%. So let's, let's remove her from office for now. Which probably piss her off as well. No, she's still at 100. Jeez. Um, and we'll make, where is Zhang Liao? Yeah, he's pretty happy. Okay, I think I am actually going to do this. Let's let's do this now. Let's Welcome really back. rock the boat and annex the kingdom of Shu Han. And let's bearing in mind we have not guaranteed their autonomy, so we will be royally pissing off the entire planet. Um, so yeah, let's do this now. And Lupi's okay with this because he's just here to fight at the end of the day. So we'll become treacherous, which is definitely Lubu's mantra. Ooh. Crash his game. <laughs> oh boy. To Done it. New beginning. So we've now completely annex the kingdom of Shu Han. Our income has now plummeted because we have so many armies. I 
I don't know who this character is, but we can get rid of her later. Let's get rid of all of those. Don't care about those. Trade with Shuhan is gone. How? How is Liu Bei got plus 268? That's ridiculous. Okay, well, because we're going to play on the theme here. Whoa, Lady Me is cool. Right, Liu Bei is on our Greatest Warriors hit list. Actually, first off, is Liu Bei in a position to make a fight anytime soon? No, he's not. Yeah, first things first. Let's take away Gan Jiang from Liu Bei. What is this? Nusha Bifa, plus 10% range damage for crossbows, own army. And let's release Liu Bei from our service. Uh, there's no point banishing. Let's just release him from our service. Mm. Yeah. Is there anything we else we... Actually, let's come back to this. I need to have a think. So while we're doing this, uh, who else we got here? Uh, we've got... Pang Tong. Who... Let's remove that, because you don't need that. Let's release... We'll release him from our service. Zhang Fei. We're going to steal his Serpent Spear. <laughs> uh, let's give him just a basic spear. And there's a Book of Songs here. We'll remove that. Remove that. Ganning. Uh, we'll give him a basic glaive. Remove that stone pig. Remove this. Zhigeliong. Okay. Uh, we'll remove that sword. Can't remove his armor, obviously. Remove that. Remove that. Are there any other ones we want to get rid of? Doesn't look like it. Looks like Guan Yu is... Where is Guan Yu? Yeah, we don't own Guan Yu. I don't know where he is. Okay, so now we want to get rid of these people. So, Zhige Leong. We'll um, come back to him. Actually, where is he? Let's find him. Oh, he's over here, isn't he? Nurture wisdom. To enlighten me.
A lapping tide erodes stone. Order will spread throughout. Ever onwards. Let desire me shape my and guide passion. Move, move. Yeah, Zhige Liang, we're going to release him from service. Gan Ning, we're going to release from service. Zhang Fei, we're going to release from service. Liu Bei, we're going to release from service. And uh, Pang Tong, we're going to release from service as well. Uh, I'm going to remove Zhang, uh, Zhang Hong from office here because she actually gets on with everyone except for him. In nature's forests, you can see heaven's design. Oh god, doesn't get on with the faction leader. Terrific. I was also thinking about this. I don't think we need some of these generals here. I don't think we need Cao Jing, who's supposed to be this great archer. I don't think we need him to be an administrator. So let's remove him from the office there as well. Shines the path to peace. So many armies, man. Stop passions and strike. Okay, let's delegate this one. Let feasting commence. Just release her. Free the prisoners. Zhang Mao is ranked up. Uh, we'll give him patience because that increases the likelihood that we'll capture people. Channel passions. On the march. Who calls? I think we need to start thinking about upgrading our units. I 
So we don't need those guys. They're terrible. Let's get... Uh, Jade Dragons seem pretty good. Get some Protectors of Heaven as well. Right, okay. Uh... Let's check that we can do undercover network stuff. We can. Okay. That's interesting to know. Uh, let's have a look at the family tree, considering we haven't been able to do that in a while either. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, let's divorce Lady Me from Liu Bei as well. She is a distant relative. She can't marry anyone here. Yeah, I'm going to have to go away and do this at some point, I think. Um, Contemplate all. Oh man, we got a lot of armies over here. To attention. On the march. Might as well make use of them. Restore authority. Truth is an unquenchable flame. With wisdom. For China. March. Consider and act. Okay, and we now have the opportunity to get a new administrator somewhere. In fact, I could get rid of him because he's not doing a great deal either. So Nanyang is the first place which isn't properly being looked after. Commerce and industry. Okay, well that needs to go. That needs to go. ton of corruption. Ten percent income from all sources, so she must be a 
probably brilliant general. Zhang Yan's got 30% from peasantry. That's impressive. She probably wouldn't be a bad choice, to be honest. God, I've got so many characters now. I wish I could put them into, like, a maybe pile. Twenty percent income from industry. Five percent income from industry is pretty good. Um, yeah, she Zhang Ji. We could make an army of brilliant officers like uh, Serious Trivia does. That's a really cool little trick that goes around taking, basically getting rid of all the ammunition in an army. That would be pretty fun. Um, so maybe we could use her. Yeah, I think it is going to be her. Oh, wrong one. She isn't giving us much in terms of construction. Oh, no, let's do it. Let's go with her. And then we had another guy somewhere, didn't we, who was uh, the administrator somewhere else. At Huainan. So he's got plus 15% from all sources anyway. What's that from? Oh, and he's got plus 5... Oh, no, that's faction-wide. Mm. Oh, is that including... That's including the normal thing that you get for just being an administrator. This has got 800 industry, so I actually think we could do better than him. So I'm going to remove him from office.
This is our new son, Zhang Yan, isn't it? Plus 10% income from peasantry is pretty cool. And a labourer is pretty cool. So we might use him later on. I swear there was someone who had additional buffs for industry. Yeah, might have been her. Plus 10% income from industry. Definitely Huainan. So that was Xiaolan, I think her name was. Yeah, plus 5% income from industry, so she's probably going to be the one we're going to use for that. And then also in Huainan, we're going to use um, military requisition if someone, someone must have it. No. No. Nope. Oh man, we don't have that. No one's got military requisition. Alright, well we'll do the mustering turns. With Duan Wei, who's come back from being a spy. That's pretty cool. I'm going to have to go through and find all of these characters and get rid of all their items. Um, in terms of, oh, 
Why can't I access those guys? Ah, there's one. Uh, you don't need that. Or that horse, really. You can have the basic horse that you come with. Ninja Kui you can get rid of. Let's give both of those things to that administrator here. Uh, when she arrives... Oh, she's in an army, isn't she? One direction. Nope. Two arms. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Embrace impulse. No. Remain dormant. Hold the center. Nope. God, we have a lot of armies now. All as one. Never yield. Here she is. Okay, so we're all about uh, industry here. So there was a guy who was... Yeah, so this is one of them. And then we also want a peasantry book that we just got off of someone else as well. Alright, I think I'm going to continue to sort all this out. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Apologies if it was a bit um, quite heavy. Obviously, we've got a lot to process ever since we've we've now gained so much territory and so many assets. Um, so, yeah, hopefully next episode will be a bit more eventful. Um, but, yeah, see you next time. Bye.